I'm Sherry Bedard, and welcome to Dogs in Movies. Working with dogs on camera is one of the most difficult jobs because dogs don't understand why we're asking them to do the same task multiple times. Another obstacle is that they get bored very quickly and will test your patience. But it can be a very rewarding job. It's important to understand that because dogs are unpredictable with a mind of their own and paired with the time constraints on set, it is a stressful job for both you and your dog. There are a handful of pet star agencies in which you can join as you start out in this business. By the end of this course, you'll be able to get the most out of your dog while training and preparing your dog for a shoot. You will practice some of the most important commands for any movie in this course. I've created a couple of short films in which we'll look at in more detail. Now, let's jump right into it. Before you take any dog on set, you need to understand how dogs think and see the world. There are two main types of dogs, those that respond to food as a reward and those that respond to toys. Within those two types, you also have dogs that are people-oriented and the dogs that are dog-oriented. The easiest dogs to work with are dogs that regard food as a top reward and are people-oriented. These dogs tend to learn more quickly and will do their best to give you more, meaning they'll try harder and work longer for you. The dog's level of activeness is also a factor to consider. You wouldn't choose a young border collie to play the role of a dog that sleeps all the time, just like you wouldn't choose a Great Dane to play the role of a dog that chases frisbees and jumps fences. Choose your breed wisely for what you want to accomplish. There are ways of getting around a dog's activeness to bring down the energy for more quiet scenes, but it's almost impossible to bring up a dog's energy level for a more active scene. 